Okay, so I am back because I made a mistake. Um, it's not a big one. Well, it could have been a big one, but luckily for us, it wasn't a big one. Um, basically, I of course forgot to change these scripts to start to use our new server.js file. If you see in the uh, in the example of server-side caching, they sort of have a custom dev and start script. And the dev just runs this custom express server instead of running next. So we just do node server.js. And you could do uh, node nodemon here, and that will restart every time there's a uh, change in the server. But I'm just gonna do node here. And then you can see for start, we automatically apply the node environment as pro uh, to production for the node server. And this will kind of set this uh, dev flag that we had in here to be false uh, somewhere. So yeah, it will kind of set this to be false because it'll be equal to production, which will mean that this will be running in production mode. So that's all that this uh, package.json uh, thing does and as you can see that if we run this stuff uh, yarn dev it will still run exactly the same um, doo -doo -doo -doo, and this will actually be caching your stuff and um, we shouldn't really be able to see <laughs> any difference from before because obviously we just have some text loading um, go to about, go to home, go to about, go to home, go to about, blah, blah, blah. should be super fast now. It's loading from uh, cache, that's for certain now. Uh, <laughs> I'm probably just going to label this 1.5. It's because it's not really a part two, it's like, it's going to be what, uh, like, yeah, less than five minutes long. I just wanted to kind of explain that before I headed off and kind of fix that because obviously you guys might be following along, who knows. And, um, or you might have spotted it and maybe just realized that I did it wrong and then yeah, I just ba I just basically wanted to correct it before you guys shout at me <laughs> um, So yeah, that was it correcting it. It was just changing these two lines of code, but everything works exactly the same um, It's just we needed to yeah actually make use of this express uh, custom express server which is handling all of the caching uh, because before we were just running next, it would have just been using the uh, default next server. Um, so yeah, it turns out next doesn't automatically uh, select your server.js file as your express server, um, but you have to explicitly define it here and here. But you can just import next as a package and then kind of like do all of the same functionality it does and just add some more stuff on top of it. Uh, yeah, so sorry about that little hiccup there and we'll be back tomorrow for part two of this where we'll be continuing and going over some more styles and maybe maybe we'll touch on the back end who knows uh yeah again thanks for watching all of that crap don't forget to subscribe for the notifications on the next live streams and yeah i hope you guys have a good night i'm gonna now get some sleep